So this is a quick introduction to trap code form. Uh, hopefully get you up and running uh, quickly with this tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to create this cool effect. And um, if you want the video file, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can download it. So I'm just going to get started. Um, I'm going to load in my video file. Just, whoops, get rid of that. Okay. And um, I'm going to drop this, make a comp. Drop it onto the comp icon. So this is a piece of footage from the uh, movie Low Moral Man. So trap code form works best with video footage uh, when there is a high contrast between black and white areas, like this. So um, I'm just going to create a solid. I'm going to call it form. Make it the same size as the composition. Hit OK. And I'm going to go to uh, effect trap code form. And I'm just going to hide my video layer. So first, I'm going to set up the base form. I'm going to open these options up. Uh, size X, I'm just going to make it the same size as the composition, so 1280. Size Y, 720. And then size Z, I'm just going to make maybe 12 for now. So I'm going to increase the size of my particles. Open up particle and choose 4 for size. You can see things much better. Um, so next, we can now adjust our particles in X, Y, and Z. So I'm just going to just uh, look at the screen and see what looks good, basically. So maybe 90, 60, and 3. Okay. Next, I'm just going to go to Layer Maps, Color and Alpha, and I'm going to choose my video layer here, where it says Layer. I'm going to choose Lawn.mov. Nothing happens. That's because we need to map over the X and Y coordinates. And now we can see the video footage in a pixel form. So uh, where it says functionality, I'm going to choose lightness to A. We get some more kind of uh, shading this way. Before I go any further, I'm just going to create a 3D camera. So layer new camera, 35 millimeters, two node camera, that's fine. I'm going to create a null for the camera, make it 3D and then parent the camera to the null. And I'm just gonna call it cam null. Okay, so if I just hit R now on the null, I can use the Y rotation. It's gonna kind of look around this uh, trap code form effect. So I'm just gonna tilt it maybe this way. Go back to my form uh, solid. And where it says displacement on the layer maps, I'm gonna open this up. Uh, functionality, that's fine, RGB to XYZ, map over uh, XY again. Layer, I'm going to choose a video layer again. And now we get this kind of displacement effect. Um, so I'm just going to play with the strength till I get something interesting. Uh, one problem is I don't seem to have enough particles in the Z uh, direction, so I'm just going to go back to my base form and increase the particles in Z and maybe the size Z as well. Just play with these two. Just reduce the size Z. Um, Maybe reduce the particles as well. Seems to be, a, I just want the shading to come through a bit. So about here maybe. Um, we can play with size, the same thing. Uh, choose a video layer, map over X, Y. Uh, gets rid of some of those kind of background areas. Fractal strength, X, Y. Uh, next, I'm just gonna apply some quick maps. So I'm gonna go to quick maps. Uh, color, I'm just going to choose uh, radial, so we get this kind of cool radial effect. Opacity, you can choose these presets and get kind of slightly different um, alpha effects. And I'm just going to zoom in with my camera null. Maybe here, so I want it to pop just a bit more. Uh, increase the displacement strength. Uh, instead of um, 
spheres, you can use different particle types like stars. Um, and up here, um, you can actually choose strings, which sometimes gives you a slightly better effect. So yeah, now it's looking quite cool with the string effect turned on. I'm just going to animate this cam null. So uh, where it says Y rotation, keyframe here, make it uh, minus 20, and then come here and make it 20. So we have this nice kind of turntable effect, which brings out the 3D a bit more. So uh, that's a quick introduction to a trap code form. Um, I hope that was useful. It's just the very basics, uh, basically map over X, Y is the main one. Um, and you just want to play with different layer maps and uh, play with different settings. Um, in the next lesson, I might go through uh, how to link it with a sound file. But uh, that's that for now. Uh, if you found this useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.